Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvist video. And guys, I have to tell you thank you so much to all the new subscribers. We have reached 800 subscribers. You guys are amazing. You guys are the reason why I keep doing this. And uh, big heart for everybody. You guys are crazy good. And uh, road to a thousand guys. We're almost there. So thank you so much for everybody. So without further ado... We're going to talk about the news that we got in the game because uh, we got some good news about uh, everything that uh, I think I spoke about two weeks ago. So guys, if you are new to this channel, please sub down below, leave a like and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So let's go right here. Uh, we're going to go over this uh, first thing I wanted to talk. So uh, like they said, they were going to tell us exactly how we can get five star uh, select Ticket. So we're going to be able to get our monthly 5 star select summon tickets right here and they tell us exactly when we will be able to get them. So chance to get a 5 star select summon ticket this month event releasing on uh, Friday so uh, October 5th and we're going to have one releasing on uh, October 19th so right here they're telling us exactly when we'll be able to get uh, two pieces of the ticket. So don't forget we need to accumulate 10 pieces of a ticket to be able to summon for the unit that you want that is inside that pool. I'm still hoping, fingers crossed, that they will allow us to summon one day for any 5 star that we want and that they're gonna be opening the pool of units completely so we don't have to wait uh, till the 7 star releases for those characters so this is really cool thank you gumi this like i said it's a step in the right direction so before we go into the notices we're gonna go over here right here asiko's challenge this looks really really good guys uh i'm looking forward for this fight actually i really love the raid the raid is a little bit harder but if you guys use malfazy and by the way i have pulled my first malfazy on a daily so do those 250 because they're really really good uh, so we're gonna fight Asiko, and uh, trust me, Malfazy in that fight, because of her demon killer passive, she does extra, extra damage. So lo let's go over what uh, the little Mog has to say. So here's some info for you, Kupo. Light element is effective against her Kupo. Bring magic attacker if possible, Kupo. You, have, uh, you might have a tough time if you don't build up your resistance against the stone ailments. So make sure that uh, you don't get petrified, that's the one thing we're going to be looking at so uh, maybe some magic attack bring mistia for that clear veil could be really really good and uh, yeah let's go over the stuff mission rewards complete the quest you get a five percent moogle no limit burst so uh no uh, cgio out there guys to max out that damage uh you're gonna get a thousand ten thousand sorry eight uh hatred raid coins so this is actually really really nice no items you'll get two rare summon ticket which is also really really good and evoke a Nesper. You're gonna cast. You're gonna get Cursed Yaru, which is a spear. Attack 98 with Dark Element on, and a chance of inflicting stones. So this could be really, really good for the uh, the arena, guys. This thing could be really, really good for the arena. Uh, enables Deadly Thrust. Deadly Thrust damage and drain MP from one enemy. So not bad for your physical attackers if you want to get some MP back as they're doing some damage. So. Not bad at all. I can't wait for this fight. Uh, it's gonna start on Friday, so good. On Friday, this will start, and uh, that looks. That I hope it's gonna be a cool fight because this character looks really, really nice. And I gotta say, those Fan Festa units, they look really, really good. And Malfazy, oh my God, wow, she's amazing. I can't wait to get a second of her just to make her seven star. But already, her six star is really, really good. Then we're gonna go over the stuff we're gonna be able to get uh on thursday so after maintenance a new quest await a family or foe has appeared so sworn of the Ma marching beast will be able uh, available to fight in dimensional vertex inside the chamber of the indignant indignant i hate saying this word indignant so the fearsome foe in the far plane grows even stronger searcher europa so you guys are going to be able to do those fights you may want to avoid using elemental weapons, Kupo. Be prepared to deal with reductions to your attack and magic, Kupo. You also want to bring ways to cure status ailment, including stop. So maybe Mystia right here is going to be really, really good. Or if you have those seven, if you have that seven star Ayaka, well, I think this fight's going to be a little bit easier. 
because Ayaka is pretty disgusting seven star so initial completion reward get a hundred lapis this is where everything becomes really really nice so uh, complete the quest you get demon mail plus attack 18 defense 55 boost resistance to dark by 50 percent so this thing right here it was already really really good before and now it's going to be even better raw stats always good because true double hand characters are becoming more and more relevant in this game uh mission completion reward no items you get a 10 percent moogle deal fire lightning and earth damage two times or more to each to an enemy rare summon ticket you only get one which is still good and defeat Europa with magic bug killer plus boost physical and magic damage against insect if I'm not mistaken this is 75% more damage so really really good uh, looking forward to do those fights and uh, I'm really really far back into the fights right now but uh, you know what if I have time, we'll do a little stream and we're going to do some fights because we always have a lot of fun when we stream and we do fights. Then we're going to go over the last one, which for me is really, really scary. So on Thursday, again, after maintenance, a new foe has appeared, the mad doll. And I got to say, guys, I hate dolls. And this one is no different. This thing right here is freaking scary. The mad doll, Cal Cabrina. I hate that. You know what? There's nothing worse than... Uh, I don't know if you guys still do that. But when you go to people's house. And, uh, you know, you have to sleep there. And uh, somehow they have a bunch of dolls in boxes. And when you're sleeping, well, they're, you feel like they're all looking at you. So, uh, yeah. This doll right here. Yeah, I don't like dolls. Just wanted to let you guys know. Let me know down below if you guys like dolls or not. Because right me, for, for me, this is a no-no. So... Beware, it's powerful counters and various element attacks. Something horrifying may also happen when his HP drops. So here's some info. Um, little Mog, let me know what we need to do. Look out for his counter attacks, Koopo. Hitting it with particular elements may influence its action, Koopo. If you're unable to uh, defeat it with one blow after his HP gets low, you'll be in real trouble. So I guess... Let's say you're going to bring him to a threshold of, uh, let's say, 30%. If you can't one turn kill him, he's probably going to be rampaging and just go crazy on you and go chucky and uh, pull out the knife and stab everybody. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to have to see that. We're going to see the data mine exactly on how we can beat him. And, uh, yeah, that looks uh, really cool. Uh, this event consists of three difficulties. Advanced, Pro and Elite. The mission rewards listed below are only available when clearing the Elite difficulty nice i think that's uh i think they added this i haven't seen this before so initial completion reward this is really really good accessory magic 50 boost ice resistance by 30 percent and reduce confusion resistance by 50 percent reduce confusion re resist no so oh so it basically reduces your confusion resistance hmm well the magic 50 percent is actually really really good i guess if you put uh, ma uh confusion uh, nullify on your character you're gonna be good but this looks so scary i don't know if i want to put this on my magic attackers just because it looks scary but magic 50 on raw stats that's really really good so mission rewards complete the quest you get 100 lapis evoke an esper you get a 10 percent moogle get a chain of six or more in one turn doll's eye reduce ice resistance and chance of blinding paralyzing confusing or petrifying all enemies hmm Good for the arena. Another thing good for the arena if you guys don't have a Riku's pouch. That could be really, really nice. And deal fire, water, earth, and light damage to an enemy. Dancing doll, piece of materia, boost magic by 30% and magic damage against humans. So maybe an extra 50% in a human killer. This is actually really, really cool. So uh, this doll looks really scary, but it looks like a fun fight, guys. Uh, I'm really looking for this one, though. Because I love this character. The character looks so good. And because uh, we have a lot of demon killer passive now on some uh, units. We're going to be able to dish out a lot of damage. So guys, this is for the news. Like I said before, thank you so much for all the new subscribers. You guys are amazing. Uh, and thank you for the older subscribers. Because you guys are the reason why I kept doing that. And uh, thank you so much for all the love, guys. Uh, let's see. If we can reach uh, what let's say 50 likes on this video let's go for 50 likes on this video guys i hope you have a nice day enjoy the rest of your day also and uh, i'll catch you guys on the next video
Please like and sub for more. I'm out. Peace out.